Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a story for you guys. And it's about how I got stranded at a hotel in the middle of Philadelphia. So pretty much it was my friend's 21st birthday and we all get really into it. It's our junior year in college, so we're just like all about celebrating our 21st birthday. I mean, we only turned 21 months, so why not live it up? So we go to Philly, and we're really excited for the night, we start drinking, we, we're in this really, really nice hotel, and the night's going great, it's going perfect, I'm having a blast, loving life, literally. And we go to our first club, everything's cool, we're dancing on the stage, we're literally having the time of our lives. So then, we go to the next club, and one of my friends couldn't exactly get into the bar, so me being the nice friend that I am... I waited outside the bar with her. So I'm outside waiting for my other friends to give us the hotel key to get back into the room. And no one's answering my calls. There's literally like 10 of my friends inside the club having such a good time. And I'm kind of mad and I'm outside for a reason. Literally it's zero degrees outside. I'm in the middle of Philly. I have no idea where I am. And I'm just bitter. Literally bitter. And my fur coat just wasn't enough for this night. <laughs> and I'm drunk. So I was just very irritable. So... I'm texting all my friends, where are you? Like, come outside, give me the hotel key. Our friend didn't get in, we need to get back into the hotel. So to get into this club, it costs $25. So I'm like, thinking, I'm not gonna pay $25 to get into a club that I'm not even gonna be in for five minutes. Literally, all I needed to do is get the keys from my friends and they weren't answering. So at this point, I'm texting everyone, like, I don't wanna talk to you guys anymore. Like, our friendship's over. I'm really dramatic. I understand I was out of... Completely out of character, but whatever, like, I'm outside cold, I'm freezing, I just want warmth. So, like, I did what I had to do. I eventually had to go and pay $25, literally to find my friends just to walk out. Do you know how mad I was? I was pissed. Go inside the club, hunting around for all my friends. Everyone's having such a blast, and I'm just a miserable bitch, honestly. So, <laughs> so I go, find one of my friends, and I'm like, why weren't you answering my phone calls? Like, who do you think you are? Like... I'm stranded outside in the freezing cold, you guys don't care about me, I could be on the streets dying, and you guys literally don't care. I come up with these really, really crazy scenarios in my head when I'm like really mad or like really dramatic, that's just the nature of me. So I find the one friend, I'm gonna start going off on her, like freaking out, like where's the key, where's the key? So they point me in the direction of my one friend who has the hotel key, who refuses to give me the key. I'm just thinking, if we're supposed to be best friends, quote-unquote, why can't you give me the key? You're just gonna leave me stranded in the middle of Philly, freezing, not even sure where I am. There was a bunch of homeless guys coming up to me asking me for money. I didn't sign up for this. Literally, this is your 21st birthday, and I came here to have fun with you, and you can't even give me the key. At this point, I'm just very angry, I'm cursing a lot, freaking out. The club owners literally were about to kick me out. Everyone was looking at me. Like, I was crazy, I'm just going off, going crazy, of course. So they literally have security, like, come, like, look for me to escort me out because I'm causing such a scene, pretty much. I'm causing a huge scene at this very elegant club. So, whatever. I'm just yelling at my one friend, cursing her out, then pretty much they don't give me the key. At this point, it's literally, like, 1 or 2 a.m., everything's closed. There's no one on the streets of Philadelphia. It's literally the middle of winter. So I'm just like, what do I do? Like, I'm not a city boy. I have no idea where I am. Completely clueless. So I'm just mad. Everyone decides to leave the club. So one of my friends finally decides she has the other key. They didn't want to give me the other key because I apparently wander and I get lost sometimes when I go out. I mean, I guess that's kind of true, but I mean, YOLO. And me and my one friend decide to go back to the hotel and wait. So the friend whose birthday it was... I'm not going to use any names that I'm going to throw under the bus. She decides to text us all, calling the cops on you now, like, you guys are getting out of my hotel room, like, freaking out on us. She comes back, she arrives, finally. We're at the hotel drinking, and she's like, I'm reporting you guys to the cops, like, you guys stole my hotel room. We all put up money for this hotel room. Like, we all are going to pay for this hotel room. So I don't get why she had to call the cops. Th this friend of mine gets really crazy and drunk sometimes, and she doesn't really realize her actions until the next day, which I love her for dearly, like, it's funny. I always have a funny story to tell with her, but that's beside the point. So she threatens everyone that 
she's going to call the cops and get us kicked out of the hotel. One, why would you get us kicked out of a hotel at 2 a.m. that we all paid for? Two, we're all best friends, why would you kick your best friends out of a hotel? Three, it's the middle winner. Like, really? She literally calls the cops. We're pretty much being escorted out of the building. And... <laughs> yeah, so we're being escorted out of the building, and... We had no way back because she was too belligerent to drive us home. And that's who we came with. Like, we all planned on staying there the whole night and then leaving in the morning. We found our one friends, Je Jesse and Casey. Shout out to you guys, love you. They decided to drive us home, they're sober and like, whatever. Casey decides to drive us back, he's such a sweetheart, and... At this point, Casey needs gas. Like, he needs gas bad, like pronto. So, we decided to go to the nearby gas station, and of course, of course, of course, of course, the one gas station that was nearby didn't accept his card. Being us, we decided to drive anyway on a winger prayer, hoping we'd make it an hour away. Why did we do that? Literally. <laughs> <laughs> we had wishful thinking. We thought God would be on our side and he would protect us in this crazy night. So we decided to drive an hour on the highway. And the turn pipe, pretty much you're on the highway, you're stuck on the highway. There's no way you're getting off, you're stuck for the night. So guess what happened, guys? I'm sure you can all guess this part. We got stranded on the highway. Literally ran out of gas, pulled over on the side of the road. There's no shoulder where we can pull off. We literally stopped in the middle of the road. We're all freaking out, pretty much in tears, freezing. I had to turn the car off because there was no gas. So I'm at this point, I'm just shaken up. Had the worst night of my life. I'm pretty sure I have frostbite after this night. I'm just sitting in a freezing car on the side of the road, broken down at 3 a.m. She really fucked us over. <laughs> I love you now, but you fucked us over that night. We're all crying in the back seat, like my one friend's being over dramatic, like this is how my someone died, and we're just like, oh my god, like I hope you don't die tonight. Like, literally, it was just crazy. There's eight passengers in the car. There was just literally so many illegal things happening this night. Like, it's just, it was just a lot. Like, obviously, we're not gonna leave our friends on the side of the road in the middle of Philly, freezing to death. We eventually called Triple A, and they took like an hour and a half to get there. My life is on the line, like I'm trying to decide if I should call anyone, and like, pretty much I'm, t actually I'm texting a few people, like, this is the last time you might hear from me, like I just want you to know I love you, and like, stay safe in life, and just, don't forget about me, honestly. So, they pretty much, Triple A tries to rip us off, they want us to pay $50 for literally not even a gallon of gas. I'm like, I don't know if you guys are familiar with, like, AAA's, like, rules and regulations, but pretty much if you're a member, you are entitled to certain things, which is gas if you break down on the side of it. Like, this is what we pay for, people. So, that happened, and then they give us the gas, and we're finally on our way home after such a crazy night, and literally in tears, freaking out. You guys don't want to see me freak out. It is a sight to see. So, you make it back to school safely, and three hours later, the one that called the police on us at the bar, decides to pop up where we were all sleeping. Well, she lived where we were staying, but she decides that she arrives home where we're all sleeping. She's banging on the door, let me in, let me in, let me in. We're all like, girl, did you let us in that hotel? I don't think so. So guess what? You're staying out there tonight. Left her outside in the cold. <laughs> Left her outside on the cold, in the cold. Just hearing her heels bang on the door. We were like, you know what, fuck you, bitch. We're staying out there tonight. So, long story short, we didn't talk to her for like a week or so, but we're best friends with her now, and it was just funny. Now we know. Come extra prepared when get you Get our own her. hotel room. Yeah, get your own hotel room. Literally. This hotel was so nice, too. It was so sad. Like, the hotel was beautiful. Like, I walked in with my fur. Like, yes. Like, I belong here. Literally. That is my story, guys. So my life is pretty crazy, so there's always things going on. If you guys would love to see things like this happening in my everyday life, add me on Snapchat. It'll be down below, along with my Instagram account and my Twitter account. If you guys like my story time or want to hear more story times, let me know down in the comments below. And if you have any suggestions on what you would like to see me film, then let me know about that also. Bye, boo.